vlogging. So today I'm doing another haul video and it's going to be based on some of my favorite things that I've discovered um, and just kind of brag about the amazing local artist scene that we have out here in Vancouver. So I love going to craft fairs and markets and um, expos and things like that because there's always something new to discover and, and lots of really cool products and innovative ideas that are out there in the community or even just on a global scale, whether it comes to home and garden, crafts, uh, food. So the first thing I'm going to show off is this beautiful ring that I got from Sarah Mulder. She is a Vancouver-based uh, jewelry designer. So this ring is a statement piece that is 18 karat um, plated gold with a tourmalinated quartz, which I found to be so unique because it's this sort of smoky uh, grayish kind of color, um, which is something that I haven't really seen a lot of. It really caught my eye and I was actually really torn between this and a more delicate piece and Sarah was just so um, fun to talk to and really made the shopping experience more comfortable. She was super personable, um, was really present and uh, really helped me to feel happy about my purchase. So I love this ring, I've been wearing it every day and I definitely hope to shop more from her soon. Um, if you check out her website, she has some beautiful, uh, she has some beautiful pieces that you can um, find as well, and just sort of see what her style is like. But basically, she um, brands herself as jewelry for city dwellers with bohemian hearts, and I think it's spot on. Um, her jewelry is very. Uh, sleek and chic and simple, but has that little hint of um, like wildness to it. Uh, whether it's with the stones or just like the curves and the designing of it, it has that hint of bohemian flair, and I am just living for it. All right, so the second thing I'm going to show off is another jewelry brand. Um, I've been following Lana Betty for quite some time on Instagram and I finally got to meet her and check out her uh, jewelry at um, her booth at another craft fair a few weeks ago and then again this past weekend and she does 3D geometric designs and everything is just super full of whimsy and very cute, has a lot of character and what I got from her are these super adorable eucalyptus um, posts. They're earrings, 24 karat plated gold. And I also got these super cute lapel pins, which I never thought I needed until I saw her designs in person. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that I needed these in my life, but I do. <laughs> So I find that these are a really fun way to personalize your style and your outfit just by adding them to your collar or um, I like to even put it on the cuff of my denim jacket. Um, you can even put them on like little, little canvas totes uh, to really jazz up your style. And I chose these specific ones because I felt like they uh, really kind of um, represented unique parts of me. So I have this rose gold um, peony, A because peony is my favorite flower, but also the rose gold is really classy and beautiful, which you know, I aspire to be. <laughs> I want to be an elegant woman, even when I'm on like a messy streak, um, but yeah, this is just so beautiful. And the uh, hot lips because I can be chatty, sassy, and just, you know, Come on, this, of course, it's me. <laughs> um, and then I also got the Monstera Leaf, which is just super um, exotic and tropical. And it's not that I think that I'm a tropical person or I've traveled to exotic places, but I love to explore and discover. And this spoke to me um, on that spirit level of the spirit of adventure. So yeah, really cute. Solana is based out of Vancouver as well, and she just, um, 
I, I follow her on Instagram and I watch her stories and she is just a workhorse. I mean, she hustles, hustles, hustles. She's always like producing all of these beautiful um, jewelry pieces day in and day out. You know, she's up late at night smoldering things and like getting things going. And she's just such an inspiration to me of how passionate she is about her craft. And I'm so happy to support her. All right, the next thing I want to show off is bath tea salts from Sealux, another Vancouver company. And um, they have such a unique story. The founder, I believe her name is Tanya, she um, started to incorporate seaweed into her life as a supplement when she was faced with a lot of really uh, awful health um, issues such as thyroid cancer and um, through that journey of discovering seaweed she also started to create her own beauty products um, as a single mother and uh, came up with this beautiful thing so they are sea salts all natural naturally um, locally sourced and uh, they smell incredible i also have been following their instagram for a while and i saw them at the market and was so excited to finally smell their uh, bath salts and they are just super floral they have tea in them uh, this one the ocean goddess has rose and jasmine mint and lavender with some vanilla as well and the Feeling Groovy Bath Salt has uh, lavender, calendula, rose, hibiscus, and a little bit of mint also, just name a few of the ingredients. But they smell so wonderful. I'm so excited to try it. Um, not only that, but they are so thoughtful to add tea bags in their packages as well. So you can just pop the bath salts into the tea bags, into your bath. There's no mess afterwards. One of the things that I um, don't like about taking baths is because there's so much work involved. You have to like clean the bathtub, you know, get it all ready. You take your bath and then you have to clean it up. And if you're using like a special bath bomb or bath salts, you have like residue left over. And it's just like so much extra work after a bath. I just want to take a nap. I don't want to be cleaning again. So I love that they added that extra thoughtfulness of putting in a tea bag that you can put your bath salts in and easy, easy cleanup afterwards. <laughs> so next we have some honey from East Van Bees. And again, this is another brand that was birthed from someone who was experiencing some health difficulties and um, started to you know, create their own business around honey. And this again is local honey. They're actually like an urban um, beehive. So it's made in the city of uh, Vancouver um, in East Van. So they're really supporting the local landscape um, and the local economy, which is fabulous. And this one is a chili infused um, honey called Sweet Heat. I've been using it on everything. I mean, you can already see I've, I've used it since I've gotten it, but I put it on my uh, pizza, in my salad dressings. Um, I'll put it on like some ricotta um, over a cracker. <laughs> but yeah, so tasty, super delicious. It's not super spicy. Um, it's just like a nice, slow heat. Um, but yeah, love it. Um, I also picked up this matcha uh, coffee bun when I went to the Got Craft Fair yesterday. And sad to say, I don't know who actually made these because they were just um, handing them out at the front desk as you were signing in. And it's so matcha -y. super tasty. It's really good. I have a cup of tea in the back, a green tea. I'm gonna finish this later with my tea. Okay, so this next thing I'm gonna show you, I'm super excited about because um, it is probably my super find of the day from yesterday's market. It's this incredibly beautiful, 100% merino wool hand knitted scarf by Make More Happy. And uh, Anita is the lady behind this beautiful product. She does this on the side. Um, with a full-time job that she does like 
during the day um, and she just kind of like turned her passion for cozy scarves into uh, a little business and um, she did say that this was her last market because her career is taking off and she's gonna focus on that so I was really happy to have found her on her last market day um, or last market event and snag this beauty it's really cool because you can see it has a super chunky soft um, knitting and it has like this tapered end so that it doesn't get so that it doesn't get bulky when you are layering it um, underneath uh, coats and jackets and stuff like that so I will show you guys also later how you can style this but I literally just want to live in it and sleep in it which I kind of did. I took a nap in it yesterday. It's wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, Anita, thank you so much. I'm so happy I found you. I love it. Love it, love it. Uh, thank you for all your help. Yes. So yeah, I guess the moral of this um, vlog and this haul is just to showcase what incredible talent and passion is out there in our communities with these lovely vendors and artisans who are creating from their hearts, creating with passion, and really doing it with intention and purpose of um, building our economy from the ground up, um, inspiring others, chasing their dreams, and you know, making beautiful things. And I would definitely suggest that you guys also check out your closest um, farmers markets, craft fairs, markets and things like that, um, expos, so that you can explore what's being created in your own communities and help to support that as well and directly impact the lives of your neighbors. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Yeah.